basically Tableau desktop is exclusively helpful for modeling and reporting. Okay. Tableau desktop is exclusively helpful for modeling and reporting. Okay guys. Modeling and reporting. So what in Tableau desktop, what are the activities that we used to perform? Basically, it is exclusively recommend to do the development. Okay. So what sort of development like creating reports, charts, for, do a form, formatting and so applying some filters, drill downs, etc, etc. Okay. That is the actual purpose of a Tableau desktop. Okay guys, you are getting my point? So Tableau desktop is exclusively recommended. Okay to maintain in terms of your development activities exclusively for modeling and reporting. So don't forget that modeling and reporting that is the purpose of a Tableau desktop. Okay guys and this Tableau desktop each and every developer has to install on their local systems without failure. Yeah. Local system in sense, your systems, organization, the moment you join in a company, right, they will give you some systems, right. So you have to install that. The installation wise, sometimes it is a responsibility of a W administrator, but sometimes they might ask you to do the installation on your own. So, but irrespective of the case, right, you should be in a position to deal with the installation also. So that is the reason I'm going to help you out even in terms of installation as well, okay. Absolutely. So here we go guys. So as I said, Tableau desktop is for what? Modeling and reporting. And again, as I said, we have two types of dashboard, um, sorry, Tableau desktops guys. One is personal desktop and another one is personal desktop as well as a professional desktop. So personal desktop costs around, you know, triple nine dollars. But in the real time scenarios, we never ever use personal desktop. It is exclusively for your own purpose. Okay. So we never use, but the cost wise it is thousand dollars guys, almost like thousand dollars. And it is having some certain disadvantages when you compare with professional desktop. Because in a real time world, we will be using professional desktop. That is the reason. So professional desktop is the most, most of the times we will be using in a real time world. Okay. And this professional desktop costs around two thousand dollars per license guys. Okay. Two thousand dollars per license. And it supports more than 40 data sources okay and to the to do the installation it requires very minimal okay very minimal hardware configuration like 2 gb memory okay and 750 megabytes of free minimum disk space that's it okay and it requires what internet explorer 8 or higher versions not not below that okay not below that right and you know what guys one more thing Tableau is at this moment, okay, Tableau is supporting only Windows or Mac operating systems, okay, it is supporting only Windows or Mac operating systems, but not Linux. So that is the reason whenever you are, you know, if anyone is asking about does it support Linux and all, no, it's, it won't. It supports only Mac and Windows okay, at this moment, maybe later on. In the upcoming higher versions, we cannot predict it. Okay, depends. It really depends upon situation basis. But they are trying to, as per my knowledge, they are trying to accommodate that service also. Okay, because most of the organization they do have their you know Linux platform, so that is the reason. Okay. Yeah. Right, guys. See. And it is purely window-based tool, no coding and all. I mean, just not like you know you will see C plus plus nothing like that. Okay. So yeah, now, now right away I am going to help you out in terms of installation of Tableau desktop. Okay, now I am going to help you out in terms of Tableau desktop. It is quite simple guys, okay. It is quite simple guys, installation is quite simple, okay. So now what you can do is just try to open up Tableau website, that is www.tableau.com, okay. So since we are dealing with the 9.1 version, right, so let me tell you, so Tableau.
Okay. See, just try to open it, open it up. Okay, simple. Go to products. There you see what? Tableau desktop. Look at this. Tableau desktop. Yeah. So look at the technical specs. Okay. Overview, this is fine. This no technical specs. As I told you, right? Professional as well as personal. So professional, okay, cost. This is the cost. And look at this. For the installation wise, if you go to Windows, look at this. Very minimal configuration it requires. Okay. That is what I mentioned over here also. Now, if you try to download it, right, it will ask you to download on the operating systems like 32 bit as well as a 64 bit. Okay, 32 bit as well as 64 bit. As per my knowledge, most of the organizations they will use at least your systems also. They will go ahead with the 64 bit operating systems only. Okay, 64 bit. Or else if you are using any 34 bit, yes. So accordingly, you have to choose which is the version. See, if it is 64 bit, you can straight away hit over here. But if it is a 32 bit, you specifically you have to choose it 32 bit or 64 bit. Okay, 32 bit or 64 bit. Now. The moment you are trying to install, right? So first it will ask you to run button. Just it is quite simple, guys. Just an execute. That's it. Let me show you that right away. Okay. I'll show you this. So, but installation is quite easy. Okay, it is a matter of five to ten minutes. Okay, look at this. Okay. Now let's say that you have a, a setup file has been downloaded from the website. Now look at this. Just select. Try to run this. Okay. Just run as an admin. That's fine. Okay. Now look at this. It will extract some W files. Okay, that is fine. Now the moment it is about to install, you have to accept the license. That's it. And you can install it straight away. Okay. It takes five to ten minutes of time. And these are all the screens that you will encounter. See, you have to accept it, and it takes five to ten, hardly five minutes, not ten minutes also. But if you want to use the trial version, trial trial version is valid for fifteen days, guys. Okay. So you can go ahead with the start trial versions and register with your email ID and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. That's it. The installation is quite easy. Okay. So it is a matter of five minutes. Okay. So that is about installation. Once installation is done, if you go to your you know uh, Windows Start program, there you see this application like this. Look at the iconic difference. W9.1. So that you can keep it as a shortcut on your desktop. Now the moment you try to double click on this, right? Look at this. If you just try to double click on it, it will open like this. Okay. Now, you would like to generate a report, right? Basically. So, yeah. So, connected to a file. You should know the source file. So, imagine that, let's say I have some Excel file example. Okay. Fine. Now, look at this. This is the window. So, whatever you are seeing this symbol here, the data, I mean, this database symbol, that is what called as that is what called as what? Data set. Look at this. Or you can call it as data source. This symbol, the database symbol, data set or data source, you can call it as. And these pages, filters, marks, rows and columns, these are all called work area. Work area. Look at this. Columns, rows, pages, filters, these marks, these are all called as work area. Pages, columns, rows. Mm. Marks filters, they are called work area, and this is what data set. And whatever you are seeing, seeing here, that show me, that is nothing but just like your workspace control. What is that? Workspace control, where you have various graphs here. Look at this. Okay, column chart, bar graph, pie chart, etc., etc. So this is called workspace control. Workspace control. And this left side, whatever you are seeing, this data and analytics, right? This is we used to call it as uh, data window or data subset. Data subset or data window, we used to call it as. Okay, and in case if you have any source data, for example, this is what your tables I can say. In simple words, I can say tables. Okay, now look at this. See, whatever you are seeing here, dimensions and measures. Okay, so these dimensions and measures are called as subset. But this one, beneath these dimensions, we have various elements like textual dimensions. Okay. Geographical dimension, time, time dimension, and date dimension, and order and time dimensions. I mean, it's a date and time dimensions, etc., etc. And you have measures. 